right, it looks like we're going to be doing trig lecture 111 and 112. The student will find the measure of an indicated angle, so there's going to be an angle that's indicated in a figure, in standard position, given the measure of a different angle in the figure. So we're going to be given an angle in a figure and asked to find another angle. That's what we're doing. So let's take a look at this. Here's our figure. Here's the angle that's given to us. And we want to find this indicated angle. The student will find the measure of an indicated angle in standard position. That means that the initial side is the positive x-axis and the terminal side is wherever we stop rotating. So this is the angle that we're looking for. We want to find the measure of an indicated angle in standard position given the measure of a different angle in the figure. We're given this. So we want to find this. Okay? So that's what we're doing. Let's take a look at it. This one's pretty straightforward. I know that if my initial side is here and I'm rotating in a positive direction and I stop 60 degrees shy of a full circle, then a full circle there are 360 degrees, so I've rotated 300 degrees, and that's my response. That's the measure of my angle in standard position. Right here. The initial side, we rotate 300 degrees, and this is where we'll be. If this is 60, this has to be 300. Okay. Uh, let's take a look at this one. Here we're going to rotate more than once. I'm going to stop 65 degrees shy. I'm rotating in a negative direction. Uh, if this is 65, I'm just thinking to myself, I may, I may need this right here. If this is 65, this little angle right here would have to be 25. Because 65 plus 25 is 90. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just rotate. I'm in a negative direction. And I'm going to just count as I go. Here's 360 degrees rotation. If I start here and, want, and I rotate, 360 degrees in a negative direction. There's negative 360, negative 450. I've rotated another 90. 540, 630, plus 25. 630 and 25 is 655. And I'm rotating in a negative direction. So the indicated angle is got to be negative 655 degrees if this angle is 65 degrees. And I just threw that in there because I realized, well, if that's 65, this has got to be 25 because this is a 90 degree angle. Okay, hopefully that makes sense. Let's check my key just to make sure I haven't done any bad arithmetic. So far, so good, yay. Pretty straightforward stuff. Let's take a look at another one. Hey, there's a really easy one. We're given a XY coordinate plane. Our angle that we're given, the indicated angle, is going to rotate in a positive direction. It's going to stop right here, and they tell us this is 45 degrees. Well, if this is 45, this has to be 45 because this angle is 90. So 45 degrees. The indicated angle and the angle that's given to us just happen to be the same in this case. Okay. Yay. All righty, let's take a look at uh, this one here. We're rotating, it looks like we're rotating in a negative direction again. And if this is 20 degrees, I know that this angle from here to here has got to be 70. I'm going to throw that in there just in case I need it. And let's take a look at what we've got so far. I'm going to go to the left. I'm rotating. Here's my, remember the standard position. The positive x-axis is the initial side. And if we rotate clockwise, that's in a, in a negative rotation. So we're going to go negative 360, negative 720, and then another 70 degrees. So 720, that's be negative 790 if I haven't done my arithmetic correctly. Pretty straightforward stuff. We're given an angle 
and this angle that's indicated is what we're looking for. Okay, so let's run through that again, make sure that we got our arithmetic right. And I'll check the key here in just a second, because Lord knows I make mistakes. Here we go. Here is negative 360, negative 720, plus another 70 would be negative 790. So yay, let's see if that's right. It is. And I believe that's just all of the examples I've got for what we're going to be doing. We're going to be finding the measure of an indicated angle. It'll be the one that's indicated in red. Find the measure of an indicated angle in standard position. That standard position is always the positive x-axis is the initial side, and the terminal side is wherever the rotation stops. Okay, so we're going to find the measure of an indicated angle in standard position given the measure of a different angle in the figure. In every figure, you'll be given an angle measurement. It's not the one you're looking for, but it'll help you find the one you're looking for. Okay. Here's the one we were given. Here's the one we were looking for. Here's the one we were given. Here's the one we're looking for. Hopefully that makes sense. I know you can do this. 